Have you ever wondered if you can run Ubuntu in a Windows domain setting? Well, you can, and it's just got a lot easier. Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to Crazy Logic. So, I've been trying to get this nailed for years, uh, and every time I've had mixed success, that is until now, Ubuntu's come a long way, and the Linux community's come a long way since I first started dabbling, so a lot of my struggles have now been um, solved. So, it's a pretty complex topic, uh, and I'm going to make loads of assumptions as part of this. Uh, I think this is going to be like a mini-series because there's quite a lot to cover and um, yeah I'll put a playlist up in the card and description. So the first thing is to get a machine added to a domain and solving a few little bits that come up as part of that. So as an admin uh, getting your admin rights brought over to the machine is quite important as is restricting which users can log on to which machines uh, and I'll focus on those two topics in a later video. Um, so first of all, let me show you my virtual test bench um, to make it a little bit easy to understand. So here's a Windows 10 test client, and then over here I have a Windows uh, Server 2019. Um, my forest is running at 2016 uh, level, functional level, and then I have a PFSense box here, which is acting as a router between my segregated virtual network and my actual network. Um, PFSense has got DHCP and its DNS turned off. So it's just acting as a plain router. So we can get rid of that for now. Uh, so here you can see I've already set up my demo domain. It's called domain.local. You can see it's uh, as part of that, it's set up its own DNS um, as part of the AD process. Here's AD. You can see I have a computer already enrolled in the network or connected. And then you can also see DHCP is set up as well. So um, that's pretty standard for a Windows network and if I go to my Windows 10 client how you would normally log on you get two boxes your username administrator because in Windows administrator is both a local and a domain account you have to add your at domain so you can see Windows works fine on domain and the question really is is can you make Ubuntu as simple as that for a domain user to log into. So this machine is a uh, test machine I use. I'm going to go straight from the uh, install disk. So we'll just run that machine. So a key stumbling block for the uh, domain ad process is normally network configuration. Um, so there's two two basic things that um, Ubuntu installer needs to be able to do to get your Ubuntu machine on a domain. First of all, it needs to be able to reach the domain. Sounds quite obvious. And second of all, it needs to be able to reach the outside world, so an archive server somewhere. That's because the the packages required for the AD integration are not included on disk, so they have to be sourced over the internet. So that's why I've got a router and whatnot on this little virtual network. It's because the installer needs to see both the internet and the actual domain. So. I'm going to show you, basically, if, if you didn't have a um, good connection, you would have a little question mark up here by this uh, network symbol. So just to show you how you would diagnose that if you did have the question mark, go to Try Ubuntu, and then once that's open, we'll launch a terminal. So from a terminal, the easiest way to see if you can access your domain is to just do an NS lookup on your domain name. So mine is domain domain.local. And you can see it's resolved to the what I know to be the correct address, which is um, there. But also you need to be able to resolve to the outside world. So this is going on YouTube. So we'll just make sure we can get to YouTube. So I've got access to both the internet and also to my domain.local. Back to the install process. Let's jump back into the install. So the install process takes a, a normal process for Ubuntu, so most of these questions are the same as what you would normally answer to them. So if you are not on the internet, this box will also be unavailable to you. So if, if you cannot change this box, then you won't be able to continue. So really this is the step where things change. So I'm gonna set up a local account, um, you would normally do this in Windows as well. So, well, it's normally the administrator in Windows. Um, I'm not going to call it that here because it will cause an error. Uh, going to call my machine Ubuntu 21, not use the dot because that would be bad. 
21-04.domain.local so the fully qualified name, picking his name Dave we'll call the machine Dave, yep yeah. and then you tick this box here use Active Directory and then it'll ask you for your domain which you can test to make sure you can access and then your administrator account now you don't need the administrator account you need an account which has domain join privileges um, so most people would use the administrator account if it's a small network if you restrict things down further you can have users specifically for doing domain add or domain join um, activities which is the preferred security model but anyway I'm using the administrator here and then you just press go okay so the machines come back up we can see it's created our user Dave uh, which is great so let's ju quickly jump over to the domain controller and have a look at whether the machine has actually been added to AD so in users and computers we can refresh the list and we can see that we've just added our Ubuntu 21-04 machine in our DHCP we should see it's been given a IP address which it has and then if we go to DNS and refresh it you can see that it's also been added as a host here okay so as far as AD is concerned that is showing up correctly this is what we get it doesn't really look like our normal login interface um, let's quickly log in as Dave to show that it still works as a normal local user and we get our standard prompt for new users we just click through that don't need it we can get rid of that I'll do that in a later video and if we log back out again normal login screen so to log in as a domain user you have to click on the not listed and then you have to type in your full username so I'll use the administrator account here and you have to add the at domain part as well and again we get the standard Ubuntu first login experience I'm now logged in as a domain user I have standard user access um, to this machine so I do not have sudo privileges that's saying again we can change later but if I quickly go to the home folder you'll see that Dave our local user which is encrypted as 21.04 forwards is going to encrypt the home folders but my domain account which is the full domain name uh, or the full account name with the domain um, is not encrypted so anyone can access this folder um, you'll also notice if you run a terminal um, we get this sort of weird double at uh, thing so administrator at domain.local which is my username at ubuntu21-04 which is the host name um, so you've got user account and host name as before but there's two at symbols in it now so just something to be aware of so let's log back out again so this home screen you can now see there's an administrator account um, it's not a local account that's actually my network account or my domain account uh, without the domain attached to it so it's not fully qualified it's a bit inconsistent so my next video we're going to focus on this login screen and making this user experience the same as a Windows domain account so no local account showing up and you just type in your username um, not the whole domain afterwards as well so yeah we'll look at that in the next video making it more suitable for a domain environment if you have any questions drop them in the comments below and subscribe for more content like this thanks for watching